Hey guys, and welcome back to the official Sourcing with Kian YouTube channel. So you're looking to get the best results out of the online Canton Fair. Well, this is the video for you, part two. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Kian Gozari and I've been living and working in China for the past 10 years. In that time, I've manufactured over 2,500 products, I've visited more than 500 factories and attended more than 20 Canton fairs. That's led me to working with brands such as the NBA uh, and the Olympics, working in licensing, uh, helping Amazon private label sellers, working with the United Nations Ministry of Defense, uh, retailers, a lot of experience. Uh, and a lot of that came from uh, developing products at the Canton Fair. And that's what I want to talk to you guys about today. Uh, yesterday, the online Canton Fair went live for the very first time. I made a video on that, so that link will appear uh, here or here, somewhere up at the top. Uh, so definitely go check that out if you haven't seen it already. That's just going to give you the beginning, the introduction, everything you need to know to get started. Um, but for those of you guys who have seen that video, you will notice that yesterday there was a lot of like teething issues with the website. Um, some of the things weren't set up properly. Um, it was hard, like the suppliers also didn't really know what was going on. The navigation of this uh, website wasn't set up properly. And I've gone back in on day two and I've noticed a few more things. So what, what I wanted to do was make another quick little video for you. Uh, we'll skip all the introductions and all the, you know, the starters. Let's go straight into the main course. Uh, let's gra grab a laptop. I'm going to show you some things that I've sort of discovered today as the website has improved, as the suppliers have become more knowledgeable and we've sort of learned more about it. So we don't have much time. We're on day two now. So I want to get this video out as soon as possible so we can start taking action. Uh, so without further ado, let's get back to the Canton Fair. Hey guys, how's it going? Good to see you again. I thought I would include myself in the video just in case you missed me. Uh, all right, so a couple of things I wanted to go over real quick about how to get a better experience out of this Canton Fair. So yesterday when I did the, the live demo, I was actually using Chrome uh, here, but what I realized is, I don't know if anyone who's been to China before, China have got a ban and a block on um, Google, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all that sort of stuff. Uh, you have to use a VPN to get around it. And I didn't realize that using a Chrome or a Google browser would maybe have some of those same difficulties. Uh, and then when I used Safari um, to get into the Canton Fair, it went so much faster. So for anyone who's trying to register and is having any issues registering, uh, definitely check out, try and do it with Safari first. And then, okay, once you get into it, and once you actually want to like log in and register your company information, I just want to show you this real quick, the type of questions that they ask you, uh, ask you, because some of it's quite like confidential, when your company was founded, the scale of your business, the turnover of your business, uh, your company website, company profile, your address, they even ask for your personal information, your passport number, all that sort of stuff. So just not to alarm you because normally in China, when you go to the sphere and you register and you get your badge, you give off all this information, but then you go into the hall and you meet all the suppliers. So you know, okay, if I fill out this information, I'm getting this fair as a result of that information I provided. But when you do it on a website, you're like, why am I giving my company information to this Chinese website? And I've never been, you know, never seen these guys before. So just to give you some context, it's okay to fill out this information. This is the official website, which is uh, cantonfair.org.cn. So it's okay to fill that information in. Just want to show you. And then this is where you get into it. Now, um, I'll just show you again the, the website. So what I want to show you was um, how to best navigate this now after the experiences I learned yesterday. Most important thing I would say is search by category, not by product, because I showed uh, in the first video how bad the actual products were, and I gave the example of a, of a massage chair. So let me just show you real quick. If you type in massage chair and you search for it, what happens is it brings up so many different results. And what's interesting, it always defaults to Chinese, like we can all uh, read Mandarin. Um, so I'll set it back to English, but it brings up 737 results, but it brings it up in order of like the company name. So this lucky company, Fujian Rovos Fitness, has got all their products displayed on page one. And then if you, and as I said, you got like 737 results. If you're on page 20, 30, 40, no one's even gonna ever see your product uh, because no one's gonna scroll all the way to the end. And the other bad thing about searching by product is that they don't give you any actual information about the company. Uh, how many years they've been in operation, uh, what certificates they've got, uh, anything like that. So you just have to judge off the image, even the price as well. They're not giving you any information. So you're not going to click on 737 different listings 
um, to basically figure out what's the price of each individual product. So searching by product, they've done that very poorly. So what I suggest is that you search by category. Now, either you find your category of product and go for that or any categories that you're interested in. But this is where the Canton Fair has got a massive advantage over any other sort of uh, website like Alibaba because they're essentially bringing you the best suppliers that exist in China onto one website. Yes, it's made it very hard to find the actual products, but what's good is if you go in the live section, and the time zones is crazy to me because like all the suppliers have been given different time zones. Now, normally when you go to the Canton Fair in China, well, everyone's on the same time zone because everyone's in the same exhibition hall. But right now, because it's online, there are people in the UK. Right now, it's like 9.40 p.m. at night for me. There's people in the USA who are eight hours behind. There are people in Brazil in you know, I mean, people all over the world. So China can't just stay online for 24 hours. So they've given the suppliers like different times. So right now there's 3,873 people live right now showing the products. Um, and when I went on yesterday, there was over 6,000. So you can browse here and there's loads of different stuff you can go through. Uh, but the best thing is going by categories. And again, they haven't done the best job of explaining what the categories are uh, and what's involved. But let's say you are into consumer goods and then you've got ceramics, kitchens, personal care. You go into personal care and now here's all these live streams of personal care products like hot cold back personal care. I mean, look how crazy is that? Like I've never seen anything like that before. Um, and then you've got razor blades. Then you've got what's that like bamboo toothbrush, um, loads of like random stuff. And this can also give you like new ideas for new products that you want to launch. So I would just browse this to see like, OK, what's new for this year? Because normally when suppliers develop products, they develop it for the Canton Fair. It's not like Alibaba where they're online every day. When they go to an exhibition like the Canton Fair, which is every six months, twice a year, they tend to develop their new stuff to show at this fair. So now they have these new products and this is where they're going to show it. So if you have the patience uh, to basically search by your category, go through all these little videos, see something that you like and then click on the live. So here, this is quite interesting, the hot, I don't even know what this is, um, but if you click here, it normally takes a little bit while to load and um, here they're going to show us a live video and it might just be a normal video on repeat. Uh, I'm guessing that means watch and we'll see what they have to offer. Hey guys, me again. Just checking that you hit that like button for me real quick and if you aren't subscribed to the channel, please hit subscribe. Thank you and let's get back to Canton. If it loads. Um, and we've got some more options down here as well. Oh, here we go. Here comes a new new material. Yeah, um, I would like to show you the, the gel beads products, like this one. You can see through inside the blue beads is a gel beads. And it contains 30% so that's interesting, they're gonna give us some product specification there. Um, we don't have time to sit there and watch through the live presentation, but if you want more information about that company, you just click on company introduction, and then it's got a little bit more information there, and it should have contact details uh, here. Um, it got some website information, address, contact details, looks like. All right, um, oh, I've, I've not registered properly. It logged me out for some reason. Uh, anyway, so you can click there to get their contact details. Some other live presentations that I saw have uh, their QR code that you can just scan on WeChat on your phone. And what I would suggest is move your conversations from the Canton Fair website to email and WeChat as soon as possible, because this Canton Fair website is only live for 10 days. And as soon as the um, Canton Fair finishes, you don't want any products that you discuss, any item numbers, any price discussions being lost on this website as well. So you wanna move those conversations uh, to email as fast as possible. Uh, but that wasn't the best example, so let me, let me let's check something else out. All right, let's go home decorations, uh, garden supplies, see what's new uh, in the garden. Uh, I guess in gardens getting quite popular now that everyone's stuck at home. Uh, so, okay, cool. I don't really see anything that excites me, but let's just go for this little thing uh, for now. See what this is. I've not passed. Uh, okay, so they didn't let me in. You know, I'm trying to do these guys a favor. I'm trying to show how good the Canton Fair website is. Uh, so guys, let me in. Let me in. Anyway, you get the idea with the lives, right? You're, um, 
you, you want to go in, you want to search it within your category, you want to look for new products. And then once you see those new products, you want to basically just scan the WeChat and that first company, which I showed you didn't have uh, the WeChat information, but normally the lives they do just take down their email address or company information, move the conversation. Hey, saw you at the Canton Fair, loved your product. Could you send me your specification sheet? Could you send me some more information? And then just continue and pick up the conversation that way, because these are very, very good suppliers. And then you can also ask them what other products that they have as well. Uh, the, the final sort of thing I want to show you was uh, we had a brief look at it in the other video, uh, but after I went back in here, I realized how good this is. So in the real Canton Fair, they have this building here, which is the award section, and this is between halls B and C, and it's kind of hidden to the side. And they have like uh, gold, silver, and bronze, and they also have dodgy music, which let's turn that off. Uh, so this is halls B and C. Uh, here is like a normal, normally like a very, very busy walkway, and people just go from like side to side and they kind of like miss this but this is where they give all the awards and if they let us in oh we got in nice nice after hours no one in vip access here they just have the most random products right so we've got um here we've got like massage chair i think that's a bathtub over there uh, I, I even saw yeah motorbikes uh, some kitchen appliances so what you want to do is really take a wander uh, into this uh hall because these are all like stuff that have won awards so it might be a new material uh, or it might be something like lighter weight or heavy resistance and essentially all you do is click on the thing and here you're going to get more information about it so gold award uh, aragol athletic jacket and then here you have the company information uh, their name their email address their telephone number their website if you want to get more information just by the image it doesn't look too special but i'm sure if we scroll down it will show us some stuff uh, it says, Hild is one of the top 10 miraculous materials that changed the world. Wow, a material that changes the world, guys. So this is uh, worth reading on. Um, low thermal conductivity, super cold resistance, and super hydrophobicity. Uh, with this insulation, this jacket performs particularly well in harsh environments with temperature ranging from minus 197 to 650. Um, okay, cool. And then if you can't be bothered to read that, you can also click here. Product features. Area goal. Hailed as one of the top 10 miraculous materials that changed the world is with... See, they said it as well. I don't know if you can hear the fan on my laptop. It's going crazy right now. It must not like me being in this hall. But you know what I mean? You get the most random products here. So I would even just have a browse around here. There's loads of accessories, like little hidden behind little areas, little cutlery sets, little mugs. I'm sure that they have to be quite special to be in this award hall. Uh, here you've got electronic scooters. And then here, I don't know, what is that? Let's see what we got here. Uh, LED desk lamp. There must be some sort of innovation behind that. So even just type that into Amazon uh, and see what you can find and see if, oh, we can go through walls now. Um, see whatever special about this. If no one's actually listed this product, that might be an opportunity for you. Here you have battery free Bluetooth body fat scale. So. I don't personally know enough about Product it. features. Oh, Battery you? free blue. Enough. All right, so I've personally not heard about this product before. So if you want to go into Amazon and then type that in, see what it brings up. It looks like it's got some stuff there already, uh, but it didn't really look like the one we just saw. So if you want to look at the profitability of, the cal um, of this um, category, I've got the Helium 10 extension tool. So just click on X-ray. And if you guys aren't using Helium 10, uh, I've put the link in the description below where you guys can get the Chrome extension. Uh, so here, this smart scale is doing $100,000 revenue in the last month uh, or the last 30 days, 2.5 million for the category. So, you know, that, that could be a great product. Maybe they don't have uh, the variant that you saw in the design. Back to the chairs. Where did they go? Yeah, maybe they don't have this variant, maybe there's something really special about it, read up. But I would just exhaust this haul, go in here, uh, find as much as you can, and then uh, and then get out, if we can find our way out. Can we go through the glass? No. Oh, it took us to the egg. All right, we're stuck. You know what I mean, though. Uh, you can get out of this haul and, um, and then get back to the fair. So that's kind of the things I wanted to show you, because yesterday I was a little bit all over the place. I was trying to navigate it while the website wasn't working and I was getting frustrated. Uh, it's still not gonna run perfect, but there are some really good opportunities in this 10 days that you have this online Canton Fair. So definitely um, use Safari. Don't be so worried about confidential information that you have to uh, provide. It's a trusted source of Canton Fair. 
uh, search by category, not by product, uh, go into the lives, uh, get their contact information, uh, move the conversation off of the Canton Fair website, and then um, check out the design hall as well. Now, something that I showed uh, yesterday as well in the previous video, and if, you know, if you've not watched that video, I'll link that in the description uh, below as well, that's worth checking out, is that Alibaba have noticed that the Canton Fair have got a trade show and now they put on their own one as well. Obviously, the suppliers on Alibaba are not as good as the Canton Fair, but this might be worth checking out. This is going on uh, to the 28th of June. The Canton Fair one finishes on the 24th of June. Uh, so you probably just check this out after the Canton Fair one's finished. Or if you want to just compare some stuff that you saw at the Canton Fair, then type it into Alibaba, see what you find. Uh, but they give you some VIP access. They also have some live demos. Personally, I would stay away from Alibaba and just focus on the Canton Fair website. But hey, uh, it's here if you want to check it out. Uh, so that's that. Just want to give you another quick little uh, bonus round of the Canton Fair as I've started to further navigate it. And uh, don't forget to join me in the Facebook group so we can talk about this sort of stuff as well. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Have a great day and I'll see you back uh, in the studio. Take care. Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed that little further in-depth into the Canton Fair. If you feel like I missed anything or if you feel like you want to add anything, if you guys had some wins, I would love to hear about it as well. If you want to write anything that you liked about this video or liked about the Canton Fair or any bad things that may necessarily like tripped you up that you want to share with other people, uh, please feel free to write those in the comments down below so we can all help each other. And uh, if you haven't watched the first video uh, about the basics of the online Canton Fair, that link will appear up here and probably at the end of the video where you can go back and check that out. And uh, if you're new to the channel, please uh, join my free Facebook group, Sourcing with Kian. The links uh, for that will be down below and that will also pop up here. And also let's connect on uh, social, on Instagram. I'm Kian underscore JG. That should appear here and the links will be down below as well. Uh, and also if you want to work together on a uh, one-on-one -on -one basis, do some coaching, uh, help you get better prices, better products, better factory, better terms, uh, quality control inspections, all that sort of stuff. Anything to do with China if you want to work together, a uh, booking link will appear down below as well. So with that being said, uh, day two of the Canton Fair is a wrap. Uh, we've got eight more days of it. Uh, so let's get back to the Canton Fair, let's enjoy it. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.